Due to more complications, William has to go back to the hospital again. But I told him part of our class session would be he would have to walk from the parking lot she to the wheelchair the in front of the hospital emergency room. I had to keep a happy, a happy environment for William, she considering he just got out of the hospital, and, and now he has to go back in. Mama. And in anyone in William's condition, will be scared to go into the hospital. So as we're walking, I didn't realize, I didn't realize William didn't have a belt on. And as we're walking, yeah. He had a little accident here. And at first I didn't see it, and I'm telling him to step, but he's telling me his pants. And as you can see, it's a very humbling moment. Both William and myself. We must have laughed in the emergency room for an hour. We kept watching the video. William went in with good spirits and with the same drive and what a fight and that's the most important part I know you whisper in things behind my back I don't care a whit wouldn't waste your why leave me alone I want to do it myself you just stand back and watch me that's sure to kill you I'm so happy for William and his birthday to reach 93 years of life is amazing and to continue at 93 years of age and wanting to live even more is all inspiring. Me meeting William and, and through the change in the tire, that was meant to be. Those are the things I meant to be, but it was still my choice. I didn't have to pull over and help. I could have just kept on going. So it's it's through the choices. So especially when you make good choices, you know, I think good things happen. And things, you know, things always happen in between it. Just build upon it, make it make it a personality from it, build your character, and just get stronger. Listen, you're one of the strongest women I know. One of the strongest. No, I'm not. Just... You, you deal with a lot of things. You, you suck it in. You, you know. You deal with it. You get past it. You got to do what you got to do. And that's, you know, a lot of people would have given up. And a lot of people would have turned their back. And you didn't do any of that. And that's, that's what makes you strong. That's what makes your character. When you're nice to the nurses, they give you a nice view. <laughs> What'd you say? God bless. Ah, God bless William. Get you out of here. Your nose out through the mouth. Keep on breathing deep. Not, you know, not too deep, but you know, a good, good fullness. If you want it, you can have it. Now you can't eat your cheeseburger until you sit down in the chair. You can't eat your french fries until you sit down in the chair. And you can't eat your delicious chocolate shake with whipped cream and then cherry until you sit down in the chair. Come on. Perfect. So the left. Beautiful. Let's get over here. This is a pit stop. 
This is a pit stop. French fry. Tell me you love me. Yeah, who? Say it again. Nah, I love you. I love you. The family decided it was in William's best interest to stop all of his medicine to prepare him for heaven. This is one week after William's medicine had stopped. He's totally unresponsive. He just stayed in this, this sleepy state. He couldn't break through. It hurt to see William like this. Dallas told me the day before that William was grabbing at things that were flying. And that's usually a sign that heaven is very close. William was steps away from heaven. And I was very upset because I never really got to never really got to tell him how much I really loved him and how much he helped me as a person. And how much I'd learned from him. I wanted to thank him for all the miracles. All the miracles that he's given me, and all the miracles that I've seen him do. This is a real photo of an angel. I prayed to this angel for William's health to improve. I prayed that something would happen. The angels, they were listening. The very 